In this video, I'm going to show you how I personally streamline my video editing using chaptering. So stay tuned. I'm just a normal person with no video editing background who wanted to start making YouTube videos and maybe cool transitions and effects. I don't really plan on being a professional video editor, so I was looking for a free, easy to learn video editing software. Luckily, I stumbled on Shotcut, a free open source video editing program that can do many of the tricks you can do on more enterprise video editors like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, but with a much simpler and leaner interface, thus dramatically shortening the learning curve. It just takes using your imagination. So let's learn together. So to get started, just like my other tutorials, I am using Shotcut version 20.11.28. And so make sure you have at least that version to make sure that my tips will work with your Shotcut. One thing I love about chaptering is it helps me be more productive, even when I'm not in the mood to be productive. If you have a timeline that's about two hours long and you have all those two hours in one file, sometimes it's just too daunting to look at and I wouldn't even know where to start that day. But if I had my work broken down into chapters of say 15 minutes a piece, I can tell myself just get this 15 minute piece done or 10 minutes or five minutes, whichever way you want your work to be cut up. Shotcut saves its native files to a .mlt format that's proprietary to Shotcut. Because it is Shotcut's own file type, Shotcut itself can play this and manipulate this any way it wants to. What does this all mean? It means that if you save an MLT file, Shotcut can treat that file as an image or video on its timeline as if it's editing an MP4 file. You can drag an MLT file into your timeline and add filters, transitions, breaks, just like you can with an MP4 or PNG file. Now that's powerful because you don't need to export your timeline to an MP4 format which can sometimes take hours. No matter how long and how extensive your timeline is, it just takes seconds to save as an MLT. And you can immediately use that MLT in another shortcut timeline. In fact, you can use multiple MLTs in one timeline. And I'm now going to demonstrate how this works. Okay, so first let's create two working files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two MLT files and pretend like those are two different chapters. So I'm gonna drag two videos into the timeline. So this is the first video. And then this is going to be the second one. Let's bump this up a little bit because it looks like there's some black bars at the very top so my aspect ratio is not correct or it's not consistent. So let me go into size rotate, size position and rotate. Let me just bump that up in size. That should be good enough. Um, and so So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some standard edits on here. So let's do a transition. So I'm going to drag the second one into it. Um, so now we've created a transition like that. And then why don't we add a color grade? So I'm going to add a color grade to this, to the entire track. and. Here, I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to drop the shadows a little bit. Let's say, let's make it a little 
orangey. And then I'm going to go to the highlights as well, add some orange to that too. Just so you know which files I'm working with. And so let's see what that looks like. Okay, so aside from transitioning the two clips, what I did is I kind of added a little sunset look to that. And that should be enough. So I'm going to save that. And let's call that chapter one. So that's the first chapter. I'm going to remove everything from this track and we're going to try to do a, another MLT file. So on my playlist, I'm going to drag the other two that I didn't use. So that's one. And this is the second one. Oop, looks like I had a filter on it. Um, for now, I'm going to remove that filter. So this is the first file. And then this is the second file. In this one, I'm going to do something pretty similar. I'm going to drag the second video into the first one to create a transition. And so the transition looks like this. And just to make it look different than the first MLT file on this one, I'm also going to add a filter. Also gonna add a color grade on this one and this one, I'm gonna make it a little bluer. Just so we can tell the difference between the first MLT file and the second MLT file. And so that should be enough. And I'm going to also save this one. And I'm going to call this one chapter two. So now I have two MLT files. And you notice I did not export either one of them. I just saved them as an MLT file and that's it. So I just created a fresh new shortcut file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import the two MLT files that I just created, and I'm going to edit it as if they were just video files. And so first we go to file, open MLT XML as a clip. I'm going to go back to chapter one, which is what I call the first MLT file, which is going to be previewing on my screen right now. I'm going to drag it right into the timeline right there. I'm going to open another one again, open MLT XML as clip. I'm going to grab the one called chapter two, that one. I'm going to drag it right into my timeline as well. And if you remember, Again, I've transitioned, I've created, I've created all these different effects on it. I made it look like as if it was sunset, and this is the second file. And I just want to remind you that these are not MP4 files. In fact, these are MLTs. It even says the name right there, Chapter 2 MLT, and then Chapter 1 MLT. And I'm going to show you that I'm going to edit these files as if they were MP4 files. So just like MP4 files or PNG files, you can grab them like the second clip and drag them into the first clip and watch, it creates a transition. Just like that. And just like the other ones, um, I can go and select this clip or select the entire clip with that. I can go to filters, add a filter. Uh, let's also add color grading to this one. And now let's say I'm going to add a green, greenish hue to it, just like that. And so if I play it, you notice that the whole thing kind of has a greenish hue to it, including the transition. 
including the second file. And so once I've combined all my chapters into this master MLT file, all I have to do is save into whatever, let's say, let's call this one chapter combined. And this becomes your master file. And from here, I can then export. So I'm just going to export it now. Um, again, I'm going to call this one chapter combined save as you can see it's now exporting and here's the final video now how do I utilize this technique well I don't work on long video projects anymore what I do is I break the project up into separate chapters in doing so, I create much smaller, manageable files that I can still edit later. And if I happen to mess up, I don't risk ruining my entire project. I just look for the one chapter that has the mistake and fix it without messing up the rest. Once I finish all the chapters, I then put all of them together in a final shortcut file. If I need to make some last minute universal changes like equalizing color, I can make it in that master file. Only then do I export the project into an MP4. There are also other techniques to join projects together. You can also render each individual projects into videos, then put them together using the concatenate method in FFmpeg, but you would need to know a little bit of code. I'm not going to cover that version in this video, but I can make another video if enough people comment below. Do you use the same intro to your videos every single time? Then why not save it as a reusable MLT? The possibilities are endless. And using this, you can begin building a library of reusable files that will hopefully shorten your editing time. Just be careful when you move these files. If you move them, make sure you open the original MLT chapter and reconnect the associated files and save. Otherwise, you'll get the notorious invalid screen. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Personally, when I first discovered this trick, my mind was blown. I'm sure you'll have more questions, so just leave them in the comments and I will try to answer them as well as I can. Now that all of this is done, here's my end screen chapter. I just wanted to remind you that if you haven't yet, go visit my channel. I'm sure you'll find tons of shortcut related videos. And don't forget to subscribe so that you know when I drop a new shortcut related tutorial. Every video on my channel was done on shortcut. So aside from examples of what shortcut can do, you can also visit my playlist of tips and tutorials, all geared toward the beginner. Visit my shortcut tips and tricks playlist and learn all the tips and tricks I've learned during my journey toward video editing. So once again, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.